Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with his good friend, Mr. Stephen Dow. How you doing, sir? Oh, I'm I'm much better now. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do. This, you, you this is this is the original Steve Dow. Last week you were right <laughs> coming out of right. It. The, other, the other seems like you know ways of exhaustion. Just go out <laughs> and sit down and like yeah, I don't sit still. I don't normally sit down. I'm, I don't even yeah. I have a standing desk purposely, and so I'm usually just like you know like vibrating. But uh, yeah. yeah, so COVID did take me down for about a day, day and a half. So yeah. we're back on it, man. But there yeah, let's get it cracking. Well, do me a favor, hit that marketing thing so we both uh, don't get in trouble. Appreciate it. Again, although we're very happily for Velocity Mortgage Capital, all the ideas and topics discussed on this channel, that of my own. So let's get it going. Yeah. So in video number one, you asked me about what I'm doing in Fresno. It's all about the 50, 40, 10, which is awesome. I understand it. We created it, frankly. Uh, but now I want to talk about students. One rental at a time. We did a deep dive. I think it was three weeks ago. Uh, mm -hmm. We've been talking on the channel for probably two and a half, maybe three months, all kinds of questions right. and deep dives. Right. So I got to know. Uh, are the one rental at a time students and followers just poo pooing it? They're not interested. Uh, are they asking questions? Oh, no, 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 on? no, not at all. Not at all. We've just really, uh, it's finally starting to hit the, uh, I think, uh, um, a, I don't know about a vein. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's really starting to kind of, you know, I'm seeing a noticeable uh, uh, uptick in interest and not only just what's it about because again i think it's easy to kind of understand it with a, you know all the videos we've been recording people can kind of go back to those and get the understanding of just the dynamics of what we're talking about so just the ideal situation for me to provide my lowest rates and for the bar to put the least amount down yeah. based upon the programs that i can provide is all that basically is yeah. and so then it allows them to at least understand you know the concept and after that they can play with the numbers however they can kind of fit it in, so to speak, as far as how much equity the seller has and how much they're willing to carry. Because mm -hmm. uh, in video one, I don't know if uh, I did mention it, but I'll mention it again. I've got a, 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 a pre-approval out right now where we're doing a 17% LTV first because all the se that the seller is willing to carry 100% actually for some reason. So we'll see if that's all gonna you know play how that plays out. And with finally, if the appraisal value comes in, and we'll see you know where where that uh, ends up at. But he was willing to carry 100%. Um, so we got the seller to just carry a minimum of seven five thousand on the first. Mm -hmm. He's going to carry seventy three percent second. Mm -hmm. Buyer comes in with ten percent. There's no way it doesn't cash flow from day one. Right. Yeah. And so it it's just like so. No, yeah. it it it's really starting to really take off. They really are, are I think are understanding the tool a little bit better and how to use it. And so now I think it's really you know. Now we're just getting pre approvals out and the sellers. And then, if, if anything, they're calling me saying sellers were, you know, ready to carry. So yeah. they're really calling the preppy, you know, ready prep. So it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's making a difference for sure, man. Yeah. So there's a couple of things I want to talk about. So again, I've been doing this a long time. If you watch my channel for any length of time, you, you hopefully you see that I'm trying, I'm playing dominoes, but I'm trying to play three or four steps or chess, right? I'm playing three or four steps ahead. That's what I'm trying to do. Right. So we brought right. this out probably 90 days ago. A lot of you are like, what are you doing? The market's still hot. Why would a seller carry? I get it. If you watch my channel, you know, I've been talking about a housing slowdown coming. So I was getting prepared early, just like I raised money when a lot of you thought it was crazy. No, I took assets. I own free and clear, raised money on purpose. Dion, I told you, shout out Dion. Anyways, um, so again, we raised capital on purpose because I saw what was coming. So what is this 50, 40, 10? This is a tool. And just like all tools, when you find the right setup, the tool is awesome. This tool is not good in a hot market. When sellers can list, get 20 bids or 20 offers all over list, waiving conditions, this ain't your boo. This ain't the thing. Right. However, if you spend the time learning it and the market you're in gets soft and days on market go from 12 to 50, if, if listings go up 300%, this tool is going to be amazing. Oh yeah, so real estate, it already is. Yeah, the real estate is, <laughs> dude. You ain't seen nothing. I, dude, I've been in this game a long time. The right. real estate market is slowing down. Transactions have crashed one million already, and they're going down more. Trust me, there are sellers that want to sell. And this is, you know, why this tool is so awesome. I cannot tell you how many seller finance deals I have done where I paid the seller's price and got my interest rate. It is not uncommon for me to pay list price to get a 1% <laughs> loan. I don't care what the price is, or I care a little right. bit. I don't care a lot. Sure. 
Right. So again, the 50, 40, 10 allows this. Here's the deal, right? In today's market, we have FOMO from sellers, fear of missing out. Right. They feel like they missed right. the peak. You know what I could do with the 50, 40, 10? Let's assume I'm an older landlord. I own it free and clear. Um, you know, I've been through the last crash. In my market, the last crash was 75%. You have a little fear that that is coming again. You get this mailer from me or your broker says, hey, I got a buyer for you, but let's talk about it. You know what? Maybe I offer him 300. Then I give him 50% first. So he gets 150 grand for velocity, gets 10% for me or 30 grand. And all he has to do is carry a 40% uh, 40 second. But you know what? In order to make it cash flow for me, because damn it, 300 is expensive. I need him to carry it 1%. That's going to, in a hot market, he's not going to do that because he's going to be like, I can get more than 1%. Blah, 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 blah. Right, 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 right. In a I slow got, market. I get above this offer. What are you talking about? All yeah. cash. In a slow, scene. Yeah. In a slow market, he's going to, oh my God, I got 300. Nobody else offered right. more than 260. It right. is, a, dude, slower markets, sellers will, will anchor on price. And I care very little about I care a little bit, not a lot of You it. have to because, you know, to some degree, it's got to be within reason that the market can support as far as yeah. the sales comes because that's what we're using as a metric. But, but yeah, yeah, I mean, for, at the end of the day, if, it's, if the seller acts quickly before markets really start to drop with the whole FOMO thing, yeah. then that's when everybody wins. But if they sell, mm, I don't know about this. I don't understand it. Let me think about it. Well, OK, keep thinking because. Everybody around you keeps dropping their prices to try to sell. Yep. And you're just kind of like, you know, exactly. so. So this is a tool. That first off, you first off, we did a 90 minute session. If you haven't watched it yet, you're missing out. There's a playlist here called Deep Dive. Go watch it this weekend because this tool will help you build wealth. It must cash flow day one. You must structure the deal where cash flow is day one. Two, never bet on appreciation. Three, get try to get 10 year balloon at least on the second, if not 30 year uh, amortized loan. There are some rules, it's all covered in the deep dive. But again, what I want my students and followers to realize is, A, when we brought this up, a lot of you had questions. Perfect. You should. We have spent three months trying to answer them. Finally did the 90-minute session. The market is slowing down. It is slowed down more or less in different areas. You are already seeing students go, I get it. I want you to hear this from me. You have seen nothing yet. Over the next three to six months, this should double triple or quadruple in interest. People will anchor on price. And if you can right. bring them a package that allows you to win with cash flow and them to win with price, right. win, it's win a, all day long. All day long. No, it, again, it is starting to really pick some steam because I think sellers are really starting to really understand the, you know, the environment now instead of like being in denial or, you know, wish, wish pricing and all that other good stuff. So wish pricing to some degree, but at least like, you know, a better chance because you got an actual buyer willing to kind of pay that price, but you better act quickly because market keeps, you know, going down with all the sales comps around you. So that's the only, I, I think part of this that really kind of like has to, you know, happen quicker. There is some urgency, urgency to, you yeah. know, for, from that. Right. And then so, the la last not pressure, thing, but urgency. Yeah, yeah. The last thing I want to talk about, I'm telling everybody to write offers, getting seller to pay closing costs and buy down of rates. Oh yeah. How much of that oh, yeah. do you allow? How, what percentage? Oh, that's up to 3% of, of non-recurring closing costs. I used to be able to get up to 5%, but they, at this point, Three. different environment, okay. but yeah. Three. Yeah. Right. So again, so you're doing a $300,000 purchase. You can get the seller to copy a nine grand and you're cool with that. Right. And Correct. that and that nine grand could be used for closing costs and rate buy down. Correct, buy down, rate down. Correct. So um, I'm talking with a lot of uh, creative students as well that are looking. At, oh, what can we do? Can we do that? So 50, 40, 10, uh, along with seller, you know, yeah. contribution. Get it. Go um, get it. Right, right. So there's so many different variables uh, uh, that are helping out and 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 features that can accommodate given you know certain circumstances or resources. Like right? for example, we accept. Uh, gift funds mm. um, and your down payment only needs to be sourced, not seasoned. Right. So it does allow for a, a lot of other opportunities for joint ventures and, and things of that nature. So technically, if you've got partners, you guys are kind of sharing a lot of that load at 10%. If you got two people, it's really 5% each. Mm. Now it's like, wait a minute. So there's, a, and then again, on top of that seller credit towards non recurring closing costs of 3%. So 
you can really make some some good moves given you know the great yeah. environment and, and and what you can do with this tool. So it's yeah. exciting. So again, to this tool is bright and shiny. Uh, I will be <laughs> using it without question, as I talked about in video number one. Others mm -hmm. should pick it up. A lot of you are watching this going, I don't get it. Awesome. Go to the playlist, deep dive, look at the 50, 40, 10. I think it says deep dive, 50, 40, 10. 90 minutes, all your questions. If you are excited like I am, I'm almost vibrating with excitement because I know this is going to work for me. And more important, right. I'm going to get a couple this way, which in my life doesn't move the needle. But I know <laughs> there are students that are going to go ham with this and it's going to be awesome. So right. if somebody wanted to reach out, get pre-approved or ask questions, how do you want them to do that? Again, just S-D-A-O at VelocityMortgage.com. Uh, subject line, please put the acronym O-R-A-A-T. Uh, by the email, brief description, what you're looking for maybe. Uh, address would be great. Property type, um, maybe at least city and state where the property is located to make sure we lend there. Your mid-FICO score, best phone number to reach you back at. Typically 24, 40, uh, 48 hours, I'll be in touch. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Looking forward to speaking to a lot of people. There you go, buddy. Thank you. And again, reach out. I've used him. He's helped me. It's pretty awesome. Thanks, buddy. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it.